So, you are all at the edge of town, standing between the dense buildings of Satya and its open, grassy farmland hills. You have just escaped a sudden, moderate storm of blot, uh, one not often seen this far east in the kingdom. Uh, many of the crowd that was audience to your bout uh, out in the farmlands are nearby. None of them seem to be physically injured thanks to your assistance in escorting them to safety. Plenty are emotionally distressed, however, including a few of the other contestants as well. Mm. You can see that uh, Jade, uh, the I can actually show you her portrait by itself now since um, the party has split up. Ooh, yes. Uh, here it be. Oh, we're split up? Well, not her you, split, not you guys. Party their their party up. because oh. they lost. Oh, okay. Cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. She has big getting too old for this vibes. <laughs> and she is, I think, the granddaughter of the dragon? The niece. The niece. Mm-hmm. Niece. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's the niece of Elias uh, Verdugo. And uh, she has, uh, just a quick reminder, last time she has done this uh, five times, so 50 years. So she's getting pretty up there. Damn. And you can see she's tending to civilians while also also kind of restlessly looking back at the hills, uh, kind of longing to assist her uncle. Uh, you can see that she is very tense. Yeah. Um, if nobody looks injured, I want to go back to where the dragon is. You want to go back? Uh, I do. <laughs> mm. um, I'm not going to make this decision just by myself, but I'm just <laughs> like... I want to make sure that my mentor is okay, and I want to make sure that the dragon is okay, mm-hmm. uh, regardless of whether this may or may not be a good mm-hmm. decision. <laughs> well, last you saw the dragon, he flew up into the sky. Um, oh. right, that, that's a good start. And I think. your mentor, you can't, you don't quite know where she might be. Um, perhaps uh. you could have. Do you have a sending spell? Uh, <laughs> no. no, no, I do not. You know, she probably uh, wasn't anywhere nearby the tournament as uh, loud noises kind of turn her off from focusing. Uh, yeah. So she probably would not be anywhere nearby. Great. But I think I'm just feeling kind of bad about the situation. <laughs> you can still, if everyone else is on board, uh, you can still opt to try and go back out into the fields. Um. Is everything, is it, like, good, good where we're at? Like, we've gotten everybody, like, to safety, or are we just still in the process of getting people No, to everyone is right. to safety. Everyone's just kind of on edge, okay. watching out, waiting. Yeah. Uh, you can hear the distant roars and infrequent silhouette of Elias fighting the blot in the hills. However, it starts, mm. it has kind of slowed down a bit. You get the feeling that maybe he has cleaned up a lot of the blot in the time that you have been escorting civilians. I think we could probably trust him to take care of the rest of the situation. We should get going. By get going, do you mean leave on this quest? I mean, we still got to get the heart before well, we yeah, I mean, move on. Get going forward with progressing the quest, so we got to find out where the heart is. Uh, and well, that the lady heart, over you there. wouldn't know that Elias has the heart. It is his quote-unquote yeah. heart. Oh. He's, he is in oh, possession okay. of it. Um, and that My mistake for not being clear on that, uh, maybe I okay. should have put in yeah, a I wasn't sure more. he carried it or if he had a like, yeah, so Well, I don't think we exactly know what <clears throat> No. Yes, yeah, so it's it's a close, co- closely kept secret what the quote unquote heart is, um, but it is common knowledge that the dragon has it. Um, only okay. the dragon really knows what it is. Um, that way, you know, so that nobody can sneak in and steal it because they don't know what it is uh, and potentially pose a threat to Quarencia, the life tree. I think we should probably head over to his niece, who is. Within the visible distance, right? Yeah, she's kind of, like, helping you with the crowd as well. Like, she's around just checking in on everyone while occasionally glancing over. Yeah. Uh, So you've done this before. She... What's our next step? Looks down at you, and uh, she just kind of looks back over at Elias. Well, the next step is usually you'll have to go to the dragon's temple and undergo some sort of trial. But it seems you can't do that now that he's out fighting the blot. I just hope that he's all right. So do we wait? Mm, unfortunately, it appears. And she looks over and just on cue, you can see Ooh. Elias kind of flying over. You can see he's, he's a little bit wounded and a little bit of drips of blot on him. But he mm. lands and back into his uh, normal satyr form. He lands in front of a very relieved crowd that gives him some claps and thankful cheers. <sighs> And he's just kind of brushing himself off a bit. 
And Jade goes in and gives him a big old hug. And she says, Aww. that was probably the stupidest thing I've ever seen you do, Uncle. And honestly, I don't think I'd ever say that for quite a while. <laughs> and he laughs a bit uh, and looks out to the crowd. All is well now, child. Uh, uh, was not much more than a bit of a drizzle. I'm happy to see that nobody is harmed, thanks to the officials as well as all of the contestants. And he points out to you guys as well as all the other ones who may have not made it to the final bout. Mm. I do a little bow. Mm -hmm. I want to use my last Bomb of the Summer Court D6 to heal him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you no. may. Let me just, yeah. Thank you. You go up and you... This one I don't think is touch. I can just do it to anyone I see. Right, right, right. So uh, I, I, I'm not going to get close, but... Mm -hmm. You, yeah, you go up and heal him and he just kind of pats you on the shoulder uh, mm -hmm. a little bit. Uh, thank you, child. That feels much better. Uh, he stretches a little bit. You can see some of the wounds on him close. But I apologize that uh, we ha had not much time to celebrate before that little kerfuffle, but perhaps now is a good time as any to congratulate you again, pilgrims, on your victory. And I thank you for keeping the good people of Satya safe. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a sweet tooth to sate and an itchy jacket to remove. Your time to face me at the temple will be any time of your choice starting tomorrow when you're ready. Uh, for uh, now, you may rest, be merry, enjoy yourselves, for it may be a, a while before you can do so again on such an important quest. That goes for all of you. Happy Pilgrim's Day, everyone. And he yells that out to everyone. Everyone starts to disperse. <laughs> all right, we go in a bat. Oh, oh. <clears throat> excuse me. I think I got punched in the gut at some point. You all right? Uh, I'll be okay. Are we going to the same tavern, or are we going our separate ways and meeting up tomorrow? Well, I gotta settle up a score, I think, with somebody. Um, but I'm down for meeting up at the same tavern. I mean, we're gonna be spending a, quite a bit of time with one another. Couldn't hurt to start. What time of day is it right now? It is um, kind of noon-ish. About okay, now. so we could go our separate ways and reconvene at the tavern around dinner time. I'm all right with that. Is there a specific tavern? Like, is there like one tavern? There or? is. Can I suggest? Uh, as a matter of fact, I can show <gasps> you the various locales on the map via special icons that I made. Da 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 da. Oh, my. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Whoa. I'm what so excited. This? So, nice as you can see, video. there is the tavern as marked by the little <laughs> tankard at the bottom left. There is ah. the blacksmith on the far left. Next to the blacksmith is the markets. At the bottom there is the uh, cathedral, if you wish to go do prayer. To the bottom, kind of more to the right, is the docks, where you can see ships going in and out. Uh, the farms are to the far right that are currently kind of sectioned off due to blot cleanup right now. You can see some officials have headed that way with weapons and mages as well, magic prepped. There's a library, kind of a central center of the piece of art. The official uh, city hall at the top left there, where the big building next to the uh, bell tower is, where the Lord of Satya sleeps. And then <laughs> far, far beyond the farms is the Dragon's Temple, where Elias has tasked you to go there tomorrow. Rest up today. Mm. However, uh, before you guys do go your separate ways, Elias just kind of draws you all in, uh, just like, come, come here, come. I get uncomfortably close to him. <laughs> I do the exact opposite. <laughs> I get middling close to him. <laughs> all right, we've got our marching order established. Good work, everybody. <laughs> ah, good. Well, now, now that we have some time for a bit more... Uh, intimate conversation. Perhaps uh, we can have a little chat. Uh, is there anything I can do to uh, assist these four new pilgrims of Satya? It's been quite a while since the last time we had a full team of new members without a single veteran. And as, as much as I'm sure Jide has a myriad of pieces of advice to help you, she unfortunately won't be with you the whole journey like she was with the others before you. But nonetheless, she and I are happy to help to assist in any way we can. And also, I wanted to give you this. A cut of the winnings. There seems to be a lot of gambling and betting around, and I thought it was only fair that a cut be given to the winners. And he hands out a big old gold piece to divide amongst you a hundred gold pieces. Oh, all right. Ooh. So that's twenty-five each. Mm -hmm. I would like to know what route we take, and if you have a map or like a compass or something. Well, uh, yes, of course. Well, uh, 
most people. He, uh, he reaches into his backpack and he calls over a mage who is just like, he asks for a map. And uh, he opens it for you. This is the map Ooh. of Alinthi. And he kind of points around. Well, here we are here in Satchia, a small little town on the island of Lost Hogear. And usually the first place that Satchians go is Nuba Sky, right over there. That will likely be your first location, but where you go from there, whether it be north to the magical city of Aguna or the inventor's palace of Pelitrios, that will be up to you. Hmm. I'm sorry, I was staring at the map and not listening. <laughs> so, he said, odds are most likely your first stop is going to be Nuba Sky because you're going to have to pass mm -hmm. through there no matter what to get to the other towns. But um, the, you can either head north to the magical city of Aguna or the kind of inventor's haven of Pelitrios. Or if you wish to mm. somehow go past both of those and just head straight for uh, Trevisetta, um you can. Um, it's just most likely the first location you're going to go is Nuba Sky. Okay. Sounds reasonable. Okay. <clears throat> and j just so I understand, it is. it has always been our task to go to every place? I thought everywhere had their own champion nope. team. Always been such. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> this is a slightly bigger quest than I expected. Uh, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> but the bigger the quest, the more knowledge you can gain. And uh, it's always nice to check in with what all the other provinces have been yeah. up to. Knowledge. That's what matters to me. Mm -hmm. I lean over just to uh, Buck. That's not true. <laughs> yeah, I, I could I could tell that very specifically about you that that wasn't exactly what you were going for. I think we're probably going to get a lot of renown running around there. <laughs> Let's make sure we leave everywhere better or much much worse than when we found it. Dragon. I will be happy if we break even. <laughs> what sort of threats we're likely to face along the way? Oh, well, there are the odd bandits about, especially as you get more inland, but most things are at peace here in Alinthi, luckily. Of course, there are always unruly characters around. The biggest threat is most likely the wilderness as you get closer to Querencia, as some of the magical creatures there are so protective of their territory that they may attack indiscriminately. Understandably so, the place is their home and we try to respect them as best we can. So long as you pose no threat to them, they should not pose any threat to you. The biggest threat, of course, might be the blot itself, as you head further wow. inland, especially in Trevisetta. The blot can get a bit more dense over there. I see. Mm. So we'll pick their last. I am always a fan of going down, usually in the ground, but I guess we could go to the little magic place down there, if I, if I got that right. Very well. As you see fit, this is your journey, not mine. Oh, we could flip, like, a coin with a bunch of sides on it. <laughs> Ooh, I, I, I like that idea. Could do that. Doesn't a coin usually only have two sides? Well, we uh, gotta go. Yeah, if we're going north or south, we could pick, you know, could do that. The edge count? We can so flip a side. coin like a bunch of times. <laughs> a bunch of times? <laughs> Thank you very much for your time, Dragon. I think we're out of useful questions right now. Very well. <laughs> uh, if you have any more, I'm sure my niece will be happy to oblige. Of course. All right. Mm -hmm. Well then, I am going to walk. I've done enough flying for now. I'm going to go browse the markets for maybe something a bit more comfortable. And he's just scratching at his jerkin a little bit more. <laughs> What's wrong with his jerk? <laughs> Why is he so itchy? He doesn't like wool. He's allergic. <laughs> Compliment. Like, when, when you're his clothing. age, everything is uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, yeah. Except oh. for pajamas. <laughs> Oh, that makes sense. I want to live in pajamas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to. I, I wanted to settle fall. up with uh, Terellin, but he might end up at the uh, at the tavern that we go to anyway. So I can handle that just at any point. I'm sure we'll run into him somewhere. Mm -hmm. I think we should grab some equipment, like mostly just food and water. That's a good idea. So, to the general store? General store? <laughs> this yeah, this is the market. Shopping. <laughs> oh, right, the market. The market, market. Yeah. yes, the general. All right. You guys are heading to the general uh, the markets first, right? Or is it the, mm -hmm. the tavern first? 
Uh, I think market uh, first markets. and then tavern dinner. Tavern later. dinner. Markets. Yeah. All right. You head over to the markets. Is there anything you're looking for in particular? Hmm. Well, uh, food and water is a good idea. Mm-hmm. Travel yeah, we're rations. Yeah, was looking to steal some food. Oh, yeah. okay. Do we know, uh, Joe, how long it takes to travel, say, between one city or another? Mm, At least I mean, to roughly. the next oh, one. we should ask the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> that might have been a good question to ask the dragon. Dang it. I'm gonna, the dragon's I'm, I'll, I can say that you asked. Um, let's say, so Satya from Nuba Sky will take a few hours of ship travel. Um, usually <gasps> people just consider it the whole day because by the time you get there, it's going to be night. Um, mm. Mm. From Nuba Sky to Politrios is probably going to be two and a half days. Politrios to Trevisetta mm-hmm. is like three and a half. Uh, Nub- Nuba Sky to Aguna is three and a half. I think the longest trek between each city is about three and a half days. Hmm. Okay. So All we're right. kind of fine already. Well, Could I as long as we restock at yeah. our different cities. Mm-hmm. So we're kind of fine here for now. I would like to find and acquire illegally an extra water skin. Illegally? Perfect. Mm. Yes. Let's see. Let me see how much a water skin is. Do we have normal. anybody in this Point group who's gold. charismatic? Two gold. It's two silver. Uh, okay. The no face party. <laughs> Kinda. How is my <laughs> plus two? What am I doing? So, <laughs> how would one. you like to go oh, about yeah, kind of searching the area for people who may be dealing with underground trading. Oh, no, I'm just going to look for someone who's selling it and use my oh, mage hand. Oh, okay. Uh, You're going to try and it's steal It's not black it. market. He's just <laughs> No, I'm not black it. market. You're just, <laughs> I'm not getting You're like just a... I see. Steal it. Like a griffin <laughs> skin, water skin. Uh, okay, so, all right. Give me a stealth steal. and sleight of hand check. Please, all right. please give us a stealth. I hope stealth. I fail. <laughs> okay. Right, 11. It's above a commoner, or I think that meets a commoner. Okay. And an 11 and then, slide. Of oh my god. <laughs> is the RNG okay today? <laughs> and an 11. No. So. It was pretty it really brutal to likes us at the 11. start last time. Are those two fours? You have plus seven? Yeah. Of all the I times, two fours. of all the things I prepared, I didn't prepare my dice. Here we go. Oops. So I'm going to oh, roll to right. see if they uh, they notice you. Okay. <laughs> Fancy man has real physical dice Yeah. All right. So. They see you, like, kind of whistling around, trying to be, like, not stand out, and yeah. your mage hand creeping up, and they take a, one of the merchants just takes, like, a rolled up newspaper and bats it. <laughs> okay. And they point to you, like, with the, with the eyes, like, pointing two eyes, two fingers to their eyes, two fingers at you. I shrug, put my hands in my pockets, and walk away very, uh... <laughs> Casually. And as you're browsing, um, you are called upon someone laughing at uh, this act by Satya's more, most famous, uh, probably infamous is more, more a more apt term, mm-hmm. merchant Dario, a Kenku dressed in some very fanciful wear from Trevisetta, who has peddled Ooh. like his store is his life. And from your experience with him, he sells his, he would sell his own grandma if it made a pretty penny. He he kind of laughs and kind of calls out to you, another bad day at work, is it? And let me show you a little bit of him. There yes, he is. I would love to see what this guy looks like. <laughs> oh, he's beautiful. I, <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was riding asshole. high today. I have all these chaos yes, now ready. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> While we're dealing with this, I would like to purchase the water skin. <laughs> Yeah, well, okay. it's not looking. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you may. Are you having a good day at work? Oh, a wonderful day at work, especially as the winners of the tournament coming to my store, as you are coming to my store, yes. It humbles me so that you would come visit my precious stand, that you may grace it with your presence. Well, I do hope my goods can be of good enough quality for your ilk, not that now that you're tasked with probably the most important quest in the land. And it gives a wide old smirk. Mm. I just completely deadpan, like sunken eyes, just staring at this guy, kind of staring through him. Yep. <laughs> We're definitely here to visit you. Oh. You got anything unique today? Oh, yes, of course. And he, just... he stretches his 
arms out to show his wares, and you can see what he is selling. Uh, he also sells general goods, but uh, I put in the little thing the uh, more specific mm -hmm. items that he is selling, specifically like the blank scrolls, a fancy coin, uh, an arcane uh. dial. So wait, do other people have more than just the 25 gold we just received? <laughs> no, but you no, could, we'd have to pool it I don't together. know, commune it. Oh. Ah. Maybe I should have this, that um, skin. <laughs> this, this, uh, this coin here, this is, this is a coin you're selling? Hmm, why, yes, it is. A very fanciful coin. Hmm. <clears throat> and it, it, you're selling the coin for how much? Uh, 50 gold pieces. It, it, this is what this is just a regular coin. No, then, of or... course not. It can't be used to trade. Look at it. It's defaced. You can't even see the picture of the dragon on it anymore. You cannot trade with this coin, but it has its own unique purpose, you see. It mm -hmm. it makes your luck extreme. <laughs> Whether that be good or bad, well, that's the draw, isn't it? Oh, I want the coin. Of course you want the coin. <laughs> Can I roll I insight on his BS? <laughs> you most certainly can. <laughs> okay, I want to have Fritz laugh and goes, oh really? And I want to roll insight to see what I find out is, how do I, I roll this again? This. Hold on, ah, da, 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 like that. Okay. What's happening today? That, what that's is three 11s, 11s in a row. I'm a bit worried, oh no. Come on, 11. And, oh, I mean, uh, that means you rolled a seven, not a four. Yeah. Uh, he just, um, Rolls his hands a bit as like a so-so, just, and it seems as though whatever it is ulterior motive he's got, he really, really wants you to buy his stuff. Mm. Mm. He just really wants us to buy it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can see you're buying my is. wares intently, <laughs> and that um possibly want to buy it. Yes. Well, um, I turn I turn around to oh gosh uh. Hey, hey, Fritz, you remember when we were playing uh, cards, I think it was maybe a month ago, and you got up and I said I would pay you back, and eventually I'd, I, I, I'm sort of waiting to come into a little bit of money right now, and I would really, if you could spare 15 gold, I would really, really uh, appreciate it, and I can, I can pay you back double in oh, the yeah, future, I promise. To he's totally good for it. <laughs> Word? Not now. Yeah. I'm, I'm, ta I'm not talking to you, Word. I'm talking to Fritz here. Buck. <laughs> I've known you for a while. You know this, right? I, mm -hmm, you don't, I know. You don't need to pay me back. Just buy me a beer next time. And I'm going to give 15 gold over to him. Oh, I, I oh, lean in goodness. and I whisper to Buck, I'm going to take advantage of that. How are you How are you doing that? I, I want to know the logistics when you are about knee high on him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I whisper. I lean. You know what? I have... Um, you know, every time I'm whispering to him, I'm casting message. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna Word, I told you not to get over. into my head. <laughs> um, I will take the... Like, just this time, don't use it on a sweet tooth, all right? Hey, all right, all right. I understand. Mm -hmm. just, Your uh, head's too empty for me not to get into. Uh, I will... Can I, like... I don't want to, like, ruffle Fritz's hair, but I'll, like, <laughs> pat me. Fritz. I'll, like, pat Fritz on the head um, uh, and greedily take the 15 gold, and that should give me... That is all my gold I would like to use on buying the all-or-nothing coin. All right, you hand oh, it over, baby. and he flicks the coin over to you. It rings in the air, and as you catch it, so cool. you may add the all-or-nothing coin. What it does is, whenever you roll anything that involves a d20, you may instead opt to make it a coin flip, which means it will oh. either oh my God. be a nat one or a nat 20. Whoa. <laughs> and how many times can I use this uh, throughout the... I, hmm. Is it whenever? I made a gambler character, uh, <laughs> sir, so I don't... <laughs> How many how many times uh, can I use it like you may use it uh, indefinitely? You may use it 3 times per long rest. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. 3 times per long rest. Now, can I make it um so I have to do that before I know the results of uh Yes. You have to or, you have to claim So rather yeah. than okay, I see. You have to claim okay. that you are going to flip a coin on the thing that you're doing, whether it be attacking, making a saving throw, uh, making a skill check, anything that involves a d20. Either a nat 20 or a nat 1. Yep. The fan artists are going to have a friggin' so, field day with the symbolism Ooh. of this coin. How this, how this works <laughs> is instead you'll just roll a d2, and if it's a 2, it's a nat 20. If it's a 1, it's a nat 1. This is incredible. <laughs> 
And as he's as he's pocketing the gold, he just kind of like lazily looks to the side. Oh, by the way, I heard the blot pl- paid you all a visit today. Horrible coincidence, isn't it? What a terrible thing to befall what should have been such a joyous day in our little town's history. But ah, uh, oh, what are we if not merely pieces in the uncaring game of fate? Hmm? Damn, can I try an insight check? <laughs> you most certainly <laughs> I can. Know, thank you. I want to know if he knows more than he's letting on. Why did I choose insight? I only have plus two. Wait, I'm just bad with people. That's fine, actually. Mm-hmm. What's happening today? Oh, my oh no. It sure is quite a coincidence, <laughs> isn't it? It sure is, isn't it? Boy, howdy, what a coincidence that was. Okay, cool, fantastic. Wait. Oh, I was gonna, never mind. <laughs> and he, I think, I think I'm just I'll trying to you. slip the water skin into Word's pack without him noticing. <laughs> he he <laughs> would he would notice you trying to discern something from him and he just puts one kind of hand to his chest. Oh, you don't think I would have anything to do with that, would you? Oh, you think so little of me. I, I didn't do. think that until now. <laughs> the last time I checked, you haven't paid your merchant's fees at the dock yet. <clears throat> he leans he leans in and cocks one eyebrow up at you. And just like, well, I wouldn't I certainly wouldn't know anything about that. Mm, of course you wouldn't. Hmm. I'll take your stupid piece of paper, but I'm not paying that much. <laughs> and I point to the blank scroll, the cantrip one. <laughs> the cantrip one, hmm. Well, I'm not usually one to part for gold, but tell you what, what if you do me a favor and then I can do you <laughs> one back? Uh-huh. I could cut the price in half if you would perform a little errand for me. I can do a little jig, but errands are going to cost you a little extra. Mm, I see we are in a, at an impasse then. What's the errand? Yeah, what is it? Hmm. He um, kind of puts one finger to his cheek. There's been a traveling merchant, an outsider of sorts, that's visited this town. He's a defe- disheveled tabaxi man who's been making a ruckus, and he's quite the wild card, and has been distracting customers with his brash yelling all morning. Makes them all antsy and difficult to haggle with. He won't be staying for long, says he'll be out by the end of the day, but if you can convince him to make an early departure so the market can go back to its predictable normal self, I'd be happy to give you that special bonus you're looking for. I think we can manage that, but I'm gonna bring it down to four gold. This is a pretty hefty tax. Give me a, yeah. give me a persuasion. Okay. Oh, there hey. we go. Whoa. Finally. We're going higher now. He crosses his arms. Five gold. Four. Give me one more persuasion. <laughs> or <laughs> Okay, he already said he was going to bring it down yeah, to he, half. He, you have brought it down. Uh, Five gold is already a pretty severe... Ooh, okay. Oh, baby! He, he <laughs> kind of waves his hand in a horizontal motion. Five is the lowest mm. I'm going. You can take it or leave it. Fine. But if that, some stuff in that guy's cart goes missing and he blames you, that's on you. Very well. <laughs> he rolls up the scroll and hands it over to you with the open hand expecting <clears throat> the five gold. Hmm... I give him four, and then I stare at him for a second, and then I drop one more on the ground in front of him. Ooh, boy. He, w- he waves his finger around to mage hand it up to himself. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I will put that in my inventory. What it's like evil one. charismatic word. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even that charismatic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go find the other merchant. I'll be awaiting. If only that man would sell the bur- the feather oil he uses. I want to look as pristine as that. <laughs> I can't believe he gave us the scroll before we even did the thing he asked us to do. Yeah, we can kind of just leave. <laughs> I, I think it's all used to this lucky coin that I got. Oh, <laughs> I'm so excited. Goodness. I'm going to regret That's giving you that 15, you aren't I? <laughs> what are you talking about? So you guys going to look for that other merchant, or are you just going to say, fuck it, I got the scroll? I'm gonna look mm. for the other merchant. Okay, yeah, we'll check of, it I'm out. Yeah. About this All right, it should be hard to find. So, 
you follow Dario's directions and find yourselves kind of in the central area of the markets where something of a crowd has formed. Not for anything in particular, it just seems a bit more mm. lively than usual. And in the center of it all, true to his description, a disheveled tabaxi man with messy, messy fur, jagged whiskers, and a loud cackling voice. He seems to be making trade with a few people before they seem to depart with a few items in their arms and looking uh, kind of a look on their face of bewilderment as if they had just bought something as a joke rather than as a potential useful item. And the tabaxi man notices you all kind of approach uh, kind of openly since nobody else is coming. And uh, he waves you over and shouts out. Afternoon, the name's No Tail. Nice to meet you. What can I do you for? Wow. What a character. When, when you said disheveled, I was not prepared. <laughs> For an actual rat man. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a cat. I was Before we begin, Gus the theater cat over here. <laughs> Before we begin our business, I have an offer for you. Ooh. I have in my hand, and I pull out of a little tube on my back, a scroll that you can put spells on. Ooh, is that right? Ten gold. Mm, well, I'm not really in the business for buying, but thanks. I don't like this guy. <laughs> 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 Well, I'm well, come on. Adds. Is there anything? I, I want to look at what he's got. I'm I want to look. Oh, yeah. yeah. So he's yeah, got I his own look. stock of items. Uh, you can read like, what, you got? what they are, kind of down at the bottom. Mm. Are oh, you goodness. from? Uh, are, are you from around here? Oh no, no, no I'm a slit. <laughs> uh, wait, so, sorry. What's up, Fritz? Sympathy bracelet. Yeah. Anyway, uh, he, he's like, no, sir, I ain't from now, from around here, no, sorry, but uh, what a mighty fine place this is. What with the the turn y'all got going, uh, great for tourism business, I'll tell you. <gasps> can I get the tattoo pack? The tattoo pack? Yes, you most <laughs> yeah, certainly can. I want a Magical tattoo tattoos pack. value pack. Oh <laughs> hell yeah, yeah, I'm buying that. What, take one gold from me. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna be like that. Give it to me now, and I give him the coin. I'm like, give me, give me, give me, give me. He takes it. He <laughs> like, bites like... it a little bit with with one of his few teeth he has remaining, and uh, he pockets it and gives you a big smile. And he looks back at you, Buck. Oh, is it really that obvious that I'm not from around here? Um. Well, it's just such is kind of a not too big of a town, and I think someone like yourself, we probably would have recognized. Prior to right now. Well, I guess that's true. Y'all got to tighten it down here. <clears throat> it's real nice, though. I like it. Right. Um, I'm, like, looking down at Word and uh, I guess also at Lara. Um, <laughs> you guys agreed to do this thing. <laughs> Not me. Yeah, that's a good point. Mm. Um... <laughs> um. I will open up the the fake scroll like I'm looking at a map, mm -hmm. or not the fake scroll, the empty mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. and I'm going to like kind of mumble to myself and turn around. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to try and snag the ring of certainty <gasps> with an invisible mage hand. <gasps> Give me a sleight of hand check. If I okay. immediately start talking to this man, can I give him? Oh, never mind. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to give him advantage, but a dirty twenty is really good. <laughs> My God, you stole this man blind if he wasn't already, partly. Um, <laughs> fuck. Uh, Could you have done You that can add the Ring of Certainty <laughs> to your inventory. Okay. What does that actually Here, do? Here, I'll write it in. I'll copy yes. and paste it. Yes. Okay, yeah. I'm As a bonus action, you may know the DC to complete a task oh, and what Ooh. the outcome of passing or failing that task will be can be used once per long rest. Wow. That's beautiful. That's I'm pretty just going to make that a magic item really quick. <laughs> I'm going to ask um, so where are you planning on traveling to next? Probably to the other provinces. I hear this is a good place. About later in the day, once everyone closes up shop, but uh, I do plan to make the most of it. I'll be selling a new few things on my way out tomorrow as well, if you want to catch a refresh stock. Interesting. Is there any possible reason you would leave sooner? <laughs> uh, he... Give me... a charisma check. Just straight charisma. Oh. Why would you do this to me? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. We just agreed for the discount. Oh, hello. <laughs> he just kind of um, 
looks at you. Oh, I see what you're doing, and I think it's great. Only that you suck at it, but that's okay. Thank you. I really appreciate the recognition of the effort. <laughs> and uh, don't worry, I ain't mad. But you're on. You're asking that on behalf of that old stink over there, ain't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's no. He's not much fun. He seems like he loves to talk till he gets someone else who talks as much as he does. Think he could do with a little bit more listening, personally. I would agree profoundly. <laughs> I was gonna say, do you buy haps drink? Do you buy what? Does buy he buy haps drink. drink? Do you drink? Uh, he he nods his head like very jubilantly. Ooh yeah. Hmm, you're a bit of a deal maker, right? How about I make a deal with you? You leave early, and I give you the coins to buy a drink at the pub. Ooh, I got enough coin for that. No worry. Um, yeah, but it's brought from someone else. <laughs> it always I tastes like sweeter when someone else buys it. Give me a persuasion yeah. check. Let me do persuasion. Um... Can I go grab a burger from a food vendor so I can a food vendor so I can eat my burger? You most burgers? certainly can. <laughs> There are Thank burgers you. now. We've canonized burgers. <laughs> yes, I listen. It's it's if Final Fantasy can have burgers, so can we. Final yeah. Fantasy has oh, burgers. Yeah. It's just a beef you've, sandwich. That's true. You've never been to the the Cannon Burger stand? That's the name of it. It's the Cannon... <laughs> you get a Cannon Burger. Mm -hmm. I don't tend to These come down this far. From, <laughs> from a bomb factory. He he shakes his head a little bit. You can see he was thinking about it for a long time. But he, he shakes his head, kind of shakes him almost out of a trance. L listen, I'll give you this one for free. Because I like you adventurers. You bring in the coin. But I'll tell you what. A cat's got to make some coin, so I can't quite leave. But what I can do is pretend I'm heading out till y'all got your favor done with old, old bushy feathers, eh? Then, once he's dropped his little act, I can get back to settling like nothing happened. I'm down with it. <clears throat> it's not going to be our fault if you come you back. Exactly. Already do the thing we, you know what, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, but we can go confirm and then... You know, have, have to have fake evidence of this guy going down the street. Exactly! Yeah. If he's like, willing to snuff okay. out the competition through 30 tricks, I think it's only fair we give him a taste of his own medicine. <laughs> I completely agree. Oh no, there's two of them. <laughs> this guy is... I mean, yeah, he never said anything about us stopping him from returning. Mm -hmm. All right, it sounds like a <laughs> good plan. All right, well then, I'll f walk my way out of here. And he starts Don't to wink, pack up so a few obviously. of his things and uh, yep. whistles really badly. He can't whistle. He's just <laughs> and starts to walk deliberately past Dario um, on his way, quote unquote, out of the city. And you can see Dario <laughs> starts to beam a little bit, uh, kind of <laughs> in, with joy a little bit and a little bit of relief. Can we just give him like a thumbs up and then not go talk to him? <laughs> <laughs> we do the exact same whistle in <laughs> like all of us in the other direction. All right, who here can actually whistle? I guess I'm uh, a bird. Who, who has yeah. a relatively good performance? Yeah, mm -hmm. probably the bird. Raw plus two. Oh yeah, that would make sense. <laughs> all right, where else do you all guys right. wish to go or do? I was just going to look for uh, Torellin. Because I wanted to even ah. up on our... Yes. I don't oh, know yeah, where I would think so, we would normally find him. Torellin, you know he usually does hang out at the tavern sometimes because that's where okay. most people gather and that's where he makes a lot of his deals. He's kind of a loner kind of person. Not not loner as in he is alone, but he gives out loans and such. Um, and oh. the tavern is usually the nice meeting place. Yeah, so we can go... I mean, if that's the case, I'm good with going to the tavern. Mm -hmm. Try to find him there. If we're going there anyway. Yeah. Um, Fritz, do you want to check in with your people at the docks first? I have been a bit worried. I don't want to. I don't want to doubt them. I know they're strong, but it is. We're probably going to need a ride too. Yeah. And they would probably appreciate knowing that you're all right and one and not dead stuff. Me die? Nah, never would happen. I'm too strong for that one. <laughs> hmm. But sure. Let's go say hi to them. I miss them. All right. All right. We're going to the docks then. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. So, we head on over to the docks, going down the road, and people <laughs> jubilantly drinking and having a good time cheering, and a few of them kind of say hi to you and uh, cheer for you as you walk by, knowing that uh, you are now the champions of Satya, as news travels very fast in a tightly knit town like this. Hmm. You head on down, and as you get within vision of a lot of the privateers, sailors, and such, at the docks, they all kind of cheer at you. Way! And you can see uh, Dozen kind of runs up to you all as well. And he goes to give you a big old back crunching hug, Fritz. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. Oi, oh, I knew you had it in you. What I say, crew, that they slaughtered make it, I. <coughs> and they all like, I. <laughs> And he, he kind of elbows you a little bit and winks. Even bet a few dozen pieces on you as well. Got a mighty payout. <laughs> <laughs> which, speaking of which, I think it only fair that I share some of these earnings with you. And he hands you over five gold pieces. Oh, what, what's this for? Ah, a little bit of uh, your share of winning me a big old pot. <laughs> oh, you bet on me, That's enough you for, sly. For one of each of us. This is very efficient. Uh, he he looks to to you word. Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> uh, we helped. So what? But you what brings you to the docks? You ain't heading out till maybe tomorrow or the next day. Ah, uh, you know I'm a bit of a sap. I missed you guys, and we're here for a bit of a drink. Why? We got a bit of rum sitting around. Come on, crew! <laughs> and they all kind of hand you a few drinks as well. Oh snap! Mm. You may take word is a light take or not don't take, take too many whatever free you drinks. wish. Yeah, don't I take too take many. The they run. will drink you <laughs> out of anything. <laughs> I will abstain. Do you from have the any rum. ale? I oh, we got a few pieces of ale here. He he calls over someone who hands you a bottle. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's it's still corked because uh, they've all they they all prefer the sugary goodness. <laughs> okay. I'll hold on to it. Oh, okay. You're just gonna hold on to the bottle of Can ale. Can I cheers right. with him? I'm yeah, very gonna slowly collect a bunch of things. sipping the rum, even though that's probably the worst possible way to experience rum. <laughs> <laughs> can I cheer, do a little cheers with him when we neck it together? Yeah, you can Aww. do little cheers, little yeah. songs. There, there are a few shanties that you know that you sing along with them, and you can see that the the rest of the crew are like clapping along as you're dancing. <laughs> oh, where's Sifa? Oh, oh, the little cat. Mm, she's around here somewhere. Hey! Furball! Can I call he calls out. To the and Sifa. you can see a, a little shadow show up, like the silhouette of something small, walk up and just brush its back against you. Oh, I just want to pick them up, and I'm just like holding them, like oh, I love yeah. them. Yeah, oh just purrs it, yeah. without changing expression at all. I just put him up all. on my just, shoulder. Yeah. yeah, he's just purring, kind of on your shoulder and kneading you ever so <laughs> slightly. It's, <laughs> the, the pricks of the claws are a little bit uncomfortable, but you know it's out of love. He's making biscuits. Making, <laughs> making biscuits! <laughs> I want to put him up on my shoulder. <laughs> yeah, he He's sits there for him. a little while. Yeah. Well, this is just I'm adorable. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your plan now? You got to go fight the dragon or something. Mm. We got to go do a trial. The dragon? Is it a trial of some sorts? It is, yes. Yeah, he didn't. Yeah. He didn't really tell us what to do, but he show, he told us to show up at his temple tomorrow. Mm, I never been privy to what goes on behind closed doors. Would always like to know what happens in there. Seemingly, apparently, they like to keep secrets so as to keep the place safe. Don't know how that would keep the place safe, but I like to trace trust the old bugger. That is the purpose of doors. Aye, that's true. <laughs> And what are you lot doing in the meantime? Just having a nice time relaxing now that you're champs, huh? Mm. More or less. Getting a little no. antsy, to be completely honest. Mm, hopefully not too antsy. He elbows you, like, leans down to elbow you word. You might have a few fans Stumble following you now. <laughs> I look around frantically. You can see that there are a few people, like, giving whispers and glancing away once their eyes meet yours. I beam. <laughs> they deserve me. <laughs> they deserve them. Right, just be oh, careful. Man. There's not a lot of you to go around. <laughs> oh, wow. What the hell's that supposed to mean? 
I come on now. There's more of me than you can handle right here. And I gesture to my two foot four body. <laughs> he lifts two hands in the in the woe pose, like, oh my apologies, <coughs> lad. Uh I seems I was mistaken. Underestimating me is a pretty big problem, but I like you because you like the guy who flies. Oh, cheers to that. He holds out his mug to you. Uh, I, I lift up my bottle and I clink it without uncorking it and I put it back in my bag. <laughs> I have no idea how to participate into this conversation, so instead I would like to wild shape into a small cat. <laughs> <laughs> you wild shape. I'm just going to put the rum down and go hang out with the kitten for a while. You wild shape into a small cat. Well, the kitten is on Fritz's shoulder. Do you wish to join them? I'm just going to sit down and kind of look up until she puts the kitten down. <laughs> I'll, I'll say that I notice and I'm like, oh, yeah. I, I know what you're trying to do, and I give you your friend. Just a little <laughs> nod. Let's go hang out with the kitten. This is like the equivalent of like when you're at the party and you're hanging out with the person's pet instead. Yeah. But yeah. it's more efficient. I don't know which one of you ate my pet mouse, but I know it was one or the other. You can see C4 just looks at you with a dead face and meows. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you play around a little bit, and it's a, it's a nice, pleasant time. Yeah. Cat oh, this is incredible. A catatrous. As um, as the the day goes, um, there's a little bit. Let's see, your yeah, mm -hmm. with your combined average passive perception, uh, Buck, you actually <laughs> notice someone familiar who's not in his usual spot. It's a little. Gasp. It's a, a scrawny drow man who's trying not to be seen. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Walking into an alleyway, he, he seems to be following a couple of other folks, talking at them, but checking his corners very badly. <laughs> hmm. Um. I'll lean down to uh, word. Uh, I'm gonna go check with Terrell, and I think I just saw him pass by. Um, you need backup. Normally I would say no, but do you want to join along and just be quiet, or is that something you're not capable of? I can try very hard. <laughs> I'm gonna I appreciate his boot. the effort. <laughs> <laughs> and I well, start walking. I start walking ahead of you. Uh, uh, Fritz, we're gonna we're gonna step out for a second. We'll be we'll be right back. Enjoy your uh, found family. We'll be back. <laughs> All right, I'll hold um, down the floor. Okay. Um, that cat found my rat. <laughs> and then I'll go out and try and figure out where Torellen is. I do want to, I, I guess I'm not trying to be sneaky necessarily, but like, because I do like want to talk to him, mm -hmm. but I'm mm -hmm. confused as to why he's acting suspicious. Right, right. Okay. You uh, see Torellen as you follow him into the alleyway. Um, you see him, he seems to be pleading with some adventuring folk. And his gestures seem to portray something of like a panic, unlike his usual composed self. Uh, we'll some of some of the words exchanged sense. before uh, some words are exchanged before the adventurer seem to dismiss him and walk away. And he's reaching out asking for something, but they don't seem to pay him much mind. And he scans the area. Since you're not being stealthy, he notices you and starts to run towards or away. Away from you. Ooh! Like he's trying to escape. Should we go catch him? Uh. I look down at w Word, and is it, Lara, are you with us as well? Yeah, I'm with you guys. Yeah, yeah. I'm still in a cat, cat form. form. <laughs> I have oh, no okay. idea what my stats are in this. <laughs> uh, I share a knowing look with Word, and then I grab Lara <laughs> in cat form and, and run after him. Okay. Honestly, this is highly efficient. I'm not going to complain. Commotion? I'm going to say yeah, since they would have seen him run while they're like outside the alley, and then you would have seen them dart in. Oh. Yeah. Oh, cool. My wild shape recovers. That's nice. nice. <laughs> hey. I guess I'll be like, oh, sorry, Dozen. <laughs> and I'm like, I quickly dealt over and like, oh, no, what's going on? You're going to fly on? along with? Yeah. All right. I'll fly along. So I'm like, okay. You're, are you trying to catch up with Torellen? I don't. Yeah. Uh, what is everyone doing? Oh. Are we all running or what are we doing? <laughs> We're running. Well, We're Buck just is running. running. <laughs> And carrying me, <laughs> which I find. I'm not running. I'm technically skittering. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. <laughs> you want me to carry yeah, Below a certain size class, the, the verb all changes. This is the first time I've run after someone that I, uh, that I owe money, but I, I <laughs> need to figure out what's going on here because I do need to settle up with him. So I'm going to so, try and run after I'm going to need you to run and catch up with him. 
an athletics check. Sure. Okay. You're good at those, right? Allegedly. Ooh. Allegedly. <laughs> okay. Allegedly. With my dash, can I use acrobatics instead? You may, actually. Okay. Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> Eleven. So, oh, I could have used the, I forgot to use the, the ring <laughs> or the coin. Dang it. That's okay. So you're running and, and dashing and he's just like pushing things over on the alleyway to slow you down and it does so. Um, I'll say Poi, uh, Fritz mm -hmm. rather, if you would like to catch up, you can roll your acrobatics or athletics to try and catch up. Yeah, when I start to see him throwing things down, I'm like, oh, okay, I see what's going on. And yeah, I, you can I see how well you can fly. Yeah, you fly Ooh. handily <laughs> over them, under them, darting around, and you tackle them to the ground. <laughs> I'm gonna hold this man down with my claws. Good luck. Oh, yes. <laughs> hey, uh, congrats on the tournament win. All's well that ends well, eh? Uh, good job. Mm, and you can see Terrell running? and there he is. Why are you running? And the rest of there you catch is. up thanks to Fritz tackling him to the ground as well. And he's holding <laughs> both hands up. Uh, but no, no reason, just um, thought I'd get in some cardio, you know? Mm. <coughs> Sorry, we. I don't know what that running was about, but what was the running about? Ah, uh, well, uh, that's that's a funny thing you say, Buck. Um, I was just running to go um pay your winnings. That's it. Um, your winnings from the money that you bet on yourself uh, for the tournament. Well done, well done. By the way, your debt's cleared. All done. Just I think like you that. Bet against the, us. The, the debt's cleared, huh? Mm. He. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Is there something, Terrell, that you feel as though you need to share with me about exactly what was going on with this uh, situation? He kind of uh, puts two hands up. Uh, listen, or whatever, whatever it is, I promise you, it's in your best interest if you let me go and do not get involved because I have people I have to answer to. And honestly, they are way scarier than I am. And... You know, uh, I think it's just in our best interest if you just forget this all happened and go about your merry way on your little pilgrimage. Hmm? I don't even know what happened that we're supposed to be forgetting. <laughs> I well, think you bet against us. Um, mm. I, T, you've been fair enough to me most of the time that I've interacted with you. I'm <clears> sure <throat> if you had anything that you wanted to say, you'd say it. And, well... I can't argue with my debt being settled, which is what I wanted to do in the first place. So, uh, Fritz, you can <laughs> let the drow go now. You I'm going to turn back so I can talk. Um, are you in trouble? Um, uh, no, not trouble, no. But, um... Buck, you can put me down, but thank you. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry, no, I put you no, in trouble. You're just... <laughs> um, unrelated, you wouldn't happen to have um, a, a thousand gold pieces on you, would you? Oh, not in my entire thousand? life. Correct me if I'm wrong, Terrell, and I don't deal with money very much, but that sounds like you are, in fact, in trouble. Mm. T, what'd you, put, what'd you put out there for to get you in $1,000 straight? I may... What's a dollar? I... Dollar, I mean, gold pieces. <laughs> it's a colloquialism <laughs> from my home country. I <laughs> may have put your money on the other team winning because I wasn't so sure you would, and as you started to rise through the tournament, well, I started to get scared at my chances. Um, and then I lost them. Oops. And, oh boy. And who is it that you lost this money to? Um, well, it's, uh, the people I answer to. It's the, um, they're called the Underthrone Society. And I couldn't afford to ante your debt, so I had to borrow it from them. Uh, the money you owed me is also theirs. And uh, now I don't know what to do. Come on, please, you have to help me, please. They'll, they'll strip me of my silks, they'll take my house. So, if I'm to be clear, Joe, is the money that is my debt now uh, uh, this under? Uh, what is the name of this society? Called the uh, the, uh, the Under Throne Society. Do they uh -oh. have my debt now, or is my debt paid off? For I'm, I just want to make sure I'm understanding <laughs> the situation so, correctly. Basically, the original debt that you owed to Torellin was actually 
like, wasn't his money. It was money that he borrowed from someone else. Mm. So Terrellin oh. is in trouble. Mm. Yes. Buck Which is means not eventually... directly in trouble. Buck is, no, you are not directly in trouble. <laughs> I'm not directly in trouble. Unless Terrellin okay. sells you out or something. Mm -hmm. But why would he do that? He seems like such a stand-up guy. He seems guy. like a straight, yeah, he's a nice, he's a, he's a, Oh gosh! Um, just look at his expression. Yeah, I don't have. I we can all check our pockets, but I don't think we have a thousand gold between mm -mm. all of us. I don't even um, have a copper piece. I have I no money. I'll help. I'll start to help him up. This dude's in distress. I'm not holding him down. <laughs> Dust him off a little bit. Yeah. <sighs> Honestly, and I want to help. Trouble with the weather what? witch and the. Oh, my meeting with them is tomorrow and. We have a weather witch? Oop. I didn't say that. I said... That Does she control the blot? No! Yes. No. no. When they describe mm. the blot as a weather phenomenon, that does sound like the sort of thing that a weather witch might possibly have some yeah. sort of Yeah, they input would have on. known about that. Aww. I know a thing or two about meteorology. And you if do? we have a witch... No. Okay. <laughs> I just know that's what it's called. I read it in like a scrap of a book. Oh, that makes sense. T, what can we do to help? I don't... I don't know... How to help in this situation? Uh, I, I, uh, you're good with words. You're good with talking people over. You you convince me, right? Uh, my meeting with them is tomorrow. They're coming. They're coming to Satya. If you come with me, maybe you can talk it over with them. Please, anything. Uh. Is the weather witch being there? Yes. Back up to the weather witch, please. Yeah. Um. Well, he just puts his hands behind his back. I may have panicked and asked a weather witch to make the blot happen so that to buy me a little bit more time so as to delay the tournament so I could get a little bit more money. Okay, I'm putting this man back down. Can I roll for that? <laughs> I'm sorry, I panicked. I, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I, I made sure that uh, she'd make it small so no one would get hurt. I, I, I just... I was desperate and I, I, I needed time to make a plan. You summoned the blot after the tournament was completed. I thought it would happen before. She, uh, she, she was slow. This is her fault. Where is this weather witch? Um, yeah. <laughs> she was in town early. It's like, oh man, weeks ago. I don't know. She could be gone by now. Out to who knows where. Hmm. Look, it, I understand what it's like to be desperate and putting yourself in a bad situation. And you're... You've been a good enough friend to me, so I can, at the very least, maybe come with you to make sure you don't get worked over too bad when <laughs> this uh, meeting happens, just to see if I can square things up. I don't want to put the rest of you in on this if you don't want to oh. help, but maybe, is this something that you think we can get done? Is it in the morning, in the afternoon? Uh, it's in the morning. I, I'm so sorry that it's going to eat into your pilgrimage, but I'm so, so grateful. Thank thank you so much. They'll be meeting um, here, and he, he pulls out a piece of parchment and writes a uh, address on it. It's one of the houses in the residential area, sort of an off-the-books area for a lot of underground meetings, as word you would know. Like, this is a very familiar house. Oh, yeah. To be completely clear, if this interferes at all with our meeting with the dragon in the temple, we're not going. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. I think it might be after. I kind of Also, wanna... I don't think we have anything to benefit. I want to see his ass beat after the trouble he just caused. I'm going to be honest <laughs> with you. <laughs> I'm ready to I see agree. you on your ass again. Uh... Oh, Fritz, I would never deny you one of life's simple pleasures. <laughs> <laughs> he just slumps his shoulders. <laughs> I throw a punch at him, but I have a negative one in strength, so it doesn't do anything. <laughs> I'm dead on. It's okay. I'm sure I'm... he's a bit. He's going to be very um, scared of claws now. <laughs> I am dead. I am so very, very dead. No, you're not. You're oh, not gonna, yes, you you're are. Not dead. Look. Uh, Fritz, not, not helping, Prince. We, uh, we got to come back. I mean, we're the champions of Sasha, right? We got to help the little people. And yeah. eventually, we got to come back to this town. And I think T has been very good uh, to me in terms of being a bookie. So. You, maybe it's time we start out this whole champions thing with helping somebody out. I do like having connections. I see I'd like to point out he up. purposefully summoned a rain yeah. of blood in a populated <laughs> area. Yeah, but <laughs> if he can do that, he can do it again, but for us. Why would we want We're that? We're not that. doing that under <laughs> no. any circumstances. <laughs> I he, just want to see Kama. He claps his hands together as like a kind of begging. It, it was all controlled, I promise. No one would have gotten hurt. 
the dragon. If we want that, yeah. Well, uh, uh, perhaps some. Um, I I don't know. Uh, maybe the witch overtuned it. You Sorry, couldn't even control that? when the blood storm happened, and you think you can say with certainty that nobody would have gotten hurt? Mm. He just looks down in shame. All right. You might want to start apologizing. All right. <laughs> I think first he'll apologize to the, the loan shark people with a couple of punches to the face. <laughs> and then he can go around looking like that, apologizing to everyone whose life he risked. Do I have to? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. <sighs> Tomorrow morning. Now I'm excited. Woo! We have something to gain. Can I jump up and down with you? We're like, yeah. <laughs> Oh. I will jump. Yeah, we'll like hold hands and spin in a circle. This is extremely cute. <laughs> well, on the bright side, maybe today will kill me before the underthrone does. We'll Possibly. um, yeah, just, maybe. We'll just see you in the morning. How about that? I'll, All can right. I hand in my rum. Be like, you're gonna need this more than I do. <laughs> he chugs the oh, yeah, whole. Seriously. You still rest have of the it. rum? Oh, yeah, I only just took. I only took a sip, and then the one you had on the floor. You just left it there. You pinned him down with one hand with the other one holding the tank. <laughs> <laughs> he chugs the, the rest of what's left and just like, can I get up now? Oh, I, yeah, you can get back up. Yeah, not on oh, top okay. of him anymore. All right. well, I, I mean, I was on top of him, then I got off, then I went back again. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and then we danced around. Yeah. He just... Hopefully not on he top of it. He just sighs a bit, <laughs> looks up to the sky. Oh, Quarencia, help me. And he walks forward on his way to the city hall, presumably. You guys, I would say around now is probably like mid to late afternoon or early evening. Okay. Is there anything else you wish to do on your, your day off before you go encounter the dragon tomorrow or possibly go and encounter the Underthrone Society? Is anybody here pious? Pious? Um, <laughs> like, I, do we want to go to the church or like the library now, or know something? That, um, that you know, is. these are optional locations. They're just all places you can be and places that are available. You yeah. don't have to go to all of them. Oh, Red, do you want to try to see your tutor? My mentor? Yeah, I do, mentor. but I don't want to tow the whole group there. And I also don't know where she is. <laughs> Oh, okay. I've sort of towed us all into um, helping out a guy who sh we yeah, probably shouldn't help. So if you wanted yeah, to go say no. goodbye to your turn. mentor, I mean, I'll, I'll probably see her whenever we split up for like to go to sleep. Uh, and I also genuinely have no idea where she would be right now. If probably cleaning up blot, but I don't want to assume. <laughs> hmm. I'm good with my underground gang. They they know that pumpkins are bigger and don't take all the chickens. So I trust them <laughs> with me leaving whenever. Incredible. All right. Well, then I guess um, now is your chance to just tour Satya as players, uh, if if you so wish. Or you could call it in uh, for the day as well. Go to the tavern. Um, I'll vote tavern. I, yeah, I'm okay with the I'll tavern. I'll vote tavern. Can I, yeah. can I give mm. you a tattoo? <laughs> <laughs> What kind of tattoo? I'm gonna hold them out and be like, "You pick," and I've got like a selection that I brought. <laughs> what, what's the selection? Uh, there's Joe, one with yeah, a dragon on. There's one that has Siachia's. I would say there's it's whatever, butterfly. whatever you want, because I didn't put <laughs> a lot of thought like, on. Okay. I know. What I'm just like I'm listing tattoos. random stuff here. <laughs> yeah, you, it's whatever you want that's on there that you could probably find on a temporary tattoo sheet. It's probably one with on a there. My little pony okay. on there's it. It's like a unicorn. Yeah. 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 Okay, the word is gonna take the dragon one and like. Uh, tear off the little wings and then put both the wings on the back of his neck. Mm. Ooh. Oh, I guess I'll, I'll like dip my hand in the ocean water and I like slap. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Splat. You should have warned me. It's very cold. <laughs> Toughen up. You got tattoos now. <laughs> I'm a man now. <laughs> Looks great, word. I am the boss. Yeah, do you have like letters that we can write the boss on him or no? no These are just symbols. Sadly, it doesn't have like a nah. like a like she a didn't letter get the pack. Alphabet yeah, sheet. yeah. <laughs> it doesn't have two S's. We'd have to. It would just be bows. But one might be a five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we'll go to the tavern, I guess. Yeah, let's uh, do the tavern. To the tavern. Drink, drink, drink. drink. So, you head on in to the Ooh. Sweet Nectars um, to see that it is bustling and joyous, many drinking and cheering and whooping and shouting while music is being played in celebratory fashion. 
Uh, once the crowd notices you all enter, you're greeted with a roaring cheer of several people. Uh, several people run up to hand you full tankards of ale, expecting you to chug them. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna start chugging. <laughs> All right. If you want any extras, they're just going to be oh. piling up next to me. I'm sipping from whichever okay. one I got handed first. Since you're going to chug them, I'm going to take it as like half my Fritz. body weight. Since you're going <laughs> to chug them, Fritz, I'm going to need you to make a constitution yep. save to see if you hold down your liquor. Yep. I, I gathered. Okay. Let's go. Where is my con? Oh, gosh. Fritz, Fritz, Fritz. Okay. 14. 14. Come on. Let's go. Okay. You hold it down and you kind of belch a little bit. And you can feel like it's almost brushing up to um, kind of like, escape, no. but you hold it down, yeah. you thrust up your mug, and everyone else cheers. Yay! <laughs> I'm done for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and in the center of the crowds is the wench, Persimmons, a warforge dressed in a fanciful frilly red dress, oh. dancing about and kicking as she tosses drinks to the patrons, all of which seem to be on the house to celebrate the tournament's end. Uh, she notices oh. you all and Ooh. extends a hand to anyone who will take it. There she is. Aww. Oh, she looks great. That's awesome. Oh God, uh, who can dance? Is she, does she frequent here? I forgot. Is she frequent? She is uh, basically the owner, essentially. And okay, I'll yeah, just, she I'll works, just she be like, your dress looks lovely today, and I like try to twill her. Well, <laughs> thank you, and well done, adventurers. Happy to know the winners have come to celebrate at my tavern this day. And she's just kind of throwing her yeah, dress back Yeah, we were going to go forth. to the other one. Mm. <laughs> Persimmons, do you have anything non-alcoholic that's a little sweet that I could have? She kind of uh, turns her Say back a little bit and enough. lifts one shoulder. Oh, don't be a coward. Come on. Why don't you have uh, some fun? Ah, uh, you know me. It's uh, uh, maybe some other time, but I'll, I'll be good with something non-alcoholic for now. All right, then. A little bit of juice for the big man. And she calls on over to uh, and hands, kind of stretches her arm out to hand you a mug. It's just some lemon, uh, some lemon juice, some lemonade. Okay. <laughs> Those are two very different substances. Sorry, different. Yes, that, that's different. Me. Lemonade. Sorry. Something I'll sweet, some eh? <laughs> some, something for the, the what ails ya? And it's lemonade. Hey. It's a delicious Arnold Arnold poem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would love that. Uh, I'm gonna. I'll I'll take a seat somewhere and pull out my deck of cards and see if I can find someone to. And I'll kind of riffle through, see if I can find someone to play. Oh, a game. You're gonna look for someone to play. Mm. You would, you do not like playing with me. <laughs> I don't like playing with word. <laughs> you don't like playing with word. <laughs> no, I, I almost always mm -hmm. cheat. I don't think I know how to play, but I think I do not want to be sitting at the bar and just having random people talking to me, so I'm going to come over yeah. and try to learn. <laughs> Can I try to rally some of the, like, I'm guessing, like, others that are in there, but like, oh, like, to gamble, like, come, have fun. Yeah, you most certainly can. Uh, it doesn't take much mm. effort at all because everyone, you're the center of attention right now. You you guys are the champions of Satya. Everyone's mm -hmm. very excited to hang out with you. Oh, God. Um, you can see a few <laughs> people ante up, including um, one that tries to because they see their boss. One of your lackeys, uh, word. <laughs> They're, uh, hey. Her name is Claudio. Hey. Yeah. Her name Claudio. is what? You can see, you can see at the top okay. there. That's her name. And she, uh, Incredible. she kind of sits beside you, and it's very excited, and looks at uh, Buck. Oh, I know you don't let the boss ante in, but can I have a plight? Uh, sure. Uh, Lero was the first to sit down, so uh, Lero, what's your game? You wanna play poker, piquet, canasta, King's Corner, <laughs> knockout, um. laugh and lie down, Gong Zhu. Gin Rummy, oh, Four of a Kind, <laughs> Pharaoh, Fantan, uh -huh. Crates, you want Chase the Ace, Charlemagne? What are we playing? How about Push I Rummy, know that Snip Snap? Is very good. What? <laughs> There's more. Slapjack, Solitaire, <laughs> Spades. Claudio's very good at Blackjack. I say as I like get behind you and like tap your shoulder. Yes, Blackjack sounds interesting. <laughs> she looks back at you. Am I boss? Oh yeah, I am. I am. I'm real good at Blackjack. It's a favorite it's game. It's my favorite game. No one ever wants to play King's Corner. Because <laughs> you don't teach anyone how to play, you just offer it up. Yeah, speaking well, of uh, teaching how to play. 
a quick rundown? It's easy. You just uh, got to get to 21. Uh, I'll be the bank, of course. If everyone wants to ante in, you make a little bet. I turn these cards over, and then if you do better than me, if uh, you, you win. Everybody plays against me as the bank. Right. Okay. Here. I'll show you by, by taking some of uh, the, these other people's money. <laughs> and then I'll... Uh, There's 50 gold in the pot. It, oh my goodness. Well, yeah. Really? So do, can I, do you want uh, me to play the banker here, Joe? Um, uh, yeah. So, sure. so I can... Because you, you, everyone, hey. everyone plays against the, the bank. And the bank shows yeah. their first card first. So like if I were to do that... The first card everyone would see would a be a two. two. I see. But then, it, so everyone knows I have a two. I have another card underneath that no one knows yeah. uh, what it is. Uh, yeah. I watched. I watched you draw it, and I will be using a uh, so message to tell Claudio what you got. Oh, I'm cheating. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. You cheating? Cheating. Yeah. I mean, uh, she'll hold the five for now. We could have been I'll, playing I'll hang some on to that made re up fantasy game. Yeah. So Claudia yeah, is like not going to get a seventeen. She's actually going to get a fourteen. So. Claudia okay. is 14. Anybody, 14. who else is playing? So going to hit or stay? I guess I'm playing. <laughs> if you want. Okay, okay. so you've got, thir uh, you've got 12, actually, 12. because that 11 would be a face card. A two is just a two, right? A two is just a two. Yes. Yeah. so that's so a, 14, so you'd be okay. at a 16. Yeah, because yeah. 11, yeah, 15, 16. That's not a great stay, but I'll, I'll have to stand on that. Stay on a 16. Lara, you want to yeah. hit or stay? Uh, I'd like to hit. Sorry, I'm trying to find. So you had 12, so you would roll. 12's not a great place to be. How do I move I just, them? All that you guys are doing that, I just want to be dancing with persimmons. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dance, oh, you want to dance hello. with persimmons? Beautiful yeah, flamingo I dance. Yeah, I want to twirl them around. I love that dress. <laughs> and normally we'd be playing I'm, I'm with a shoe of enough <laughs> cards to where... Uh, he likes to be tall. You, we would have like around five <laughs> decks worth, but... A uh, word for yours, uh, I'll draw for you. Ooh, so you're at a 16. Uh, right. Lara, do you want to hit or stay? I'm sitting Claudio at 15. is also playing. Mm -hmm. Claudio needs cards. Oh, here. Yeah. Here. I am not allowed to oh, play. Oh, you're not oh. allowed to play. Okay. <laughs> oh, we that's right. Claudio yeah. is... I took, I'm, I'm yeah. cheating. <laughs> that would have been yeah. a two for Lara. Uh, if, uh, yeah, no, I'm going to hit 15. Oh, I mean, if they already have a higher one than me, I lose nothing yeah. by hitting, I assume. Wait, I did you just go over me? Did I? I think I'm at a 17. No, Lara, Lara would have gone. Lara would have gone for it. So Lara's at a 17. Okay, I'm gonna have to take a hit then. Hmm. You're gonna hit. You yeah. and you and Lara aren't playing against one another. You're just you, both of you are just playing oh. against me. So you can stay on a 16, and you oh, still have really? a chance of beating me. Oh. Yep. Yeah. You play against uh, the house on blackjack. I'll stay. 16 is not a good draw. All right, and then it goes to the house to draw. So here's my first draw. Nine. So I have a, I have a nine. Mm -hmm. So I have to draw again. Mm-hmm. 13. I have a 13. I have to draw again. 15. 13. 15. I'm not beating anybody, uh -huh. so I do have to draw one more time. Ooh. And I bust, Ooh. so everyone else yeah. everyone else wins. All right. Uh, All because right. the house lost, everyone just basically gets their money back, and I'm going to say oh. I'm going to say no more because this is <laughs> we're playing yeah. a different Thank game. Thank you for now. indulging we're us, Chad. Yeah. We're playing a different game the now. The game is Sorry. called <laughs> Opposed Skill Checks. Yes. Start rolling performance. All right. But, Word, was there any way you wished to <laughs> influence that game at all? Um, yeah, I, I was just using message, okay, right, but right. if we just beat the house, then we don't, don't make, make money, money, I guess, no. so that's fine. Um, because okay. everybody beat the house, I'm pretty sure. I don't know how that works, actually. You can win. Yeah, you still, you still would make out with... You can still yeah. make out with uh, money you, uh, if you beat. It's just not going to be like. Uh, I mean, depends on how much you bet yeah. on the. You bet like per hand, so you can still. You, know what? you would still beat the house. Guys, it's weird because I'm not the house. I'm like a regular you, person. I you guys make yeah. one gold piece. How about that? Woo! Hooray! You, you guys make one gold piece back because um, you beat the house, but everyone was too scared to ante up too much money. <laughs> but. All right. Totally worth it. Otherwise. Fantastic. And Buck is having a great time that everyone's doing this, by the way, oh, uh, playing cards. <laughs> this is fun. While you guys are having lemonade. a great time, meanwhile, uh, you can see in the corner of the room, there's one familiar face that's smashed face, just like full of alcohol. It's Kip. Kip. Wait. The fairy Kip. that uh, took the lost oh, card. Oh, Kip. And she is drinking herself under the table. I've already Huh. Huh. 
If I walked up to the table, I'd be under the table. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't, I can't do anything. I already blew my shot. She does not like me. Mm. I, I will like sit at the bar and occasionally glance over to her. But that's it. I, yeah, okay, yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> the only person who do looks it. like she wants to be here even less than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll just sort Make of friends. sidle over and take one of the many drinks that was handed to me that I haven't touched yet with me. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You go up uh, to her and she just like, cr like turns her neck while she's like, the rest of her torso is just laying on the table and just turns her neck to f look up at you. She's, what do you want? You don't seem to want to be here and yet you are here. Because this, That's interesting to me. this place is the only place where I could feel like today can be a dream. A bad, stupid, forgettable dream. There will be other journeys to the tree. Mm, she just kind of puts, uh, turns her head to look the other way, not at you. That's what you sound like. <laughs> That probably has more to do with how drunk you are than anything on my part. Whatever. The tournament's over. I've got nothing to say to you. You won. There's nothing else that needs to be talked about. Congratulations. Thank you. Why are you so upset by this turn of events? She slams one of her empty mugs on the table. I work so hard to get here. I've had to bleed and cry and sweat and struggle oh so much to make it this far only to be outdone by you and you and she points to the others you see the the tavern is getting a little bit uncomfortable and quiet and they're just kind of <laughs> trying to not pay her any mind mm. freaking special treatment as you got from the mighty shimea i bet interesting i confess to not know very much about you or the hardships you may have struggled. But you know this isn't an honor, right? It's a vital responsibility. Hmm. We take this on because the land will die, and nobody seems to recognize the true weight of this endeavor. I thought perhaps you were acting this way because you actually understood what we were trying to do here, that you understood the weight and that this partying wasn't, wasn't the point. She, but it seems I overestimated you. She just like looks around for a second. You can see she's trying to grasp your words. Thanks. <laughs> Whatever. Interesting. I just, it wasn't about the tree. I just, sure, whatever. It's important and all that, but I just, she just like takes one fist like to her forehead. I just wanted to do something right. There are many opportunities to do the right thing. I'm sure you'll have other chances. Oh, she points, but look at you all. You all get this attention and congratulations and oh, all the cool connections that you'll get that will help you all in the rest of your lives. Sure, it's a duty. You gotta do it. The tree needs to be flourishing or whatever, but what about all that comes mm. after? You'll be celebrated. Look at your day. Everyone loves her. Yes, that sounds like a bit of a nightmare, to be completely honest. Is fame what you're after? I don't know. She puts one hand on her cheek. Maybe... I believe you have a lot of time to find out what it is you want, but I would not recommend starting with something like this if you're not sure yet. Mm. Also, you should really go home and sleep this off. This cannot possibly be healthy for you. You are very small. She puts both hands on the table to lift herself up and she has to stand on the chair to meet your eyes. And she like almost stumbles back, but then balances herself back up. And she points like her finger up, like close to you, like almost shushing you. I'm gonna do that, but not because you told me to. 
Excellent. And she is going to lift one leg and fall on her face on the floor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> cool. I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to do my last first level cure wounds as I help her up discreetly. <laughs> she stumbles a little bit and she tries to push you off, but she clearly doesn't have the energy. And she keeps her balance and she's like, I'm good. I'm good. Of course you are. And she's just going to walk out of the tavern. Get home safe? Nah, yeah, whatever. She just kind of pushes open the door. And you just hear as she's walking out a few people like, you see, uh, you hear a few grumbling voices and she's like, what are you looking at? Mm -hmm. Interesting. And you can see another familiar face in the tavern speaks up, kind of uh, leans on over. It's Koryak, the dragonborn. Hey. Hey. Koryak. Uh, don't pay her no mind. She's uh, been through it a bit. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, we did kind of fill her with arrows. Right. <laughs> well, I think I thought they were pretty good shots, personally. I mean, the good ones were. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Uh, I'll have to tend a little bit to the farm. I'm one of the farm hands and wasn't ah. able to go clean up, unfortunately. But uh, then, do you do you know Buck? Uh, I've seen him around a few times. Hey, how's it going? He just kind of nods his head. It's at good. You. Yeah. It's uh, good to see you, too, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. Interesting. And how's that little goblin who didn't get to do anything the whole time? Where's he? Uh, he went to go study up in the library. I think uh, the sudden blot interference got him in a right tizzy. He's uh, just trying to figure out what happened and all that. Doesn't make some, too much Ooh. sense, really. What happened? Yeah, no idea how that happened. That was a unusual phenomenon. I feel like someone's going to own up to causing it pretty soon here, though. <laughs> mm. He takes a little sip of his mug, completely unaware of what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh. he looks to you, um, gosh, names, uh, Lyra, and he just oh. raises his mug. <laughs> I do want to thank you for talking her out of here. It's a good friend uh. of mine, and... Uh, we don't have many fey folk here, so she can sometimes feel like an outsider. Nice to see that uh, somebody else is looking out for her good interests. Yes, I hoped that was what I was doing. I didn't know if it worked. Thank you. Oh, uh, no, she might be a bit prickly right now, but she's going to thank you later, whether she wants to admit it or not. Interesting. I'm just kind of... I'm, I'm trying to be as unnoticed as she was in this corner. <laughs> I'm just like taking up residence at this table. <laughs> he seems to read that pretty well, and he's just like, well, it's good to see you again, and good fighting out there. And he gives a little bow and leads you to your devices. Thank you. And our vices. Yeah. Let's go. And otherwise, it's mostly a pleasant night. Is there anything else specific you guys wish to do here? Uh, I want to just go up to Lyra, just like sit by her uh, really quick, and I'll take the one. Did did uh, do I get one gold piece or no? I would say yeah. <laughs> why not? Okay, I'll I'll take it and I'll uh, I'll I'll put it down in front of Lyra, um, and I'll say it's uh, it's no small thing to hit it big on the first time if you've ever played a game before. It's a it's a it's a blessing from Lady Luck, so you can just take that, keep it as part of your uh, as part of. I guess a, a memento uh, to that experience. Thank you very much, Buck. It was interesting. I'm not sure I yet understand why you like this so much. I will. You're gonna get used to. I'll teach you some other games. Once you find one that you're really good at, uh, you gotta worry less about it, and we'll figure it out. We got. We're gonna have plenty of time on the road with one another. I assume. Certainly. God, uh, I forgot that part. <laughs> I'm going to stow that gold piece somewhere that isn't my giant pile of 25 gold pieces. <laughs> so it's separate. <laughs> special coin. It's special coin. <laughs> well, uh, you enjoy your corner. I'm going to go uh, cut in with Fritz, I think. And then I'll go Wait, and fuck. enjoy Wait, Buck, I want to dance? Dancing. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's what I'm here yeah. for. And I'll you can see <laughs> dance with Fritz and with Persimmons. Oh, Persimmons uh, extends her hand to you as well. And Actually, no, no. Yeah, I'll just cut in. Yeah, you'll cut in. Okay, yeah. 
Just join the dancing. Join the dance. <laughs> and she's just kind of making small talk with you back and forth and kind of like, if you ever find any interesting souvenirs in the other provinces, I would happily add them to my collection. You are going to get me a gift, aren't you? <laughs> she's asking that a buck? Yes. Oh, you're getting chatted up, uh, mate. <laughs> well, you know, I... I don't really consider myself much of a collector of things, but I'll try my best to, if I find anything, to bring you something back. Shiny, sparkly, that sort of thing. She just kind of, like, does one hand little fan. Oh, thank you, darling. You know just the right things for me. <laughs> right, right. Fritz, do you want to make... I gotta cut in with Fritz and dance with her, I think. <laughs> uh, she, she puts one hand on her chest. Oh, Buck, darling, I'm hurt. Ah, uh, there's plenty of that's. I'm sorry. There's plenty of dancing to be had. So you, I'll come back to dance with you later. Oh, I know what later means. And she just kind of turns her dress a little bit and like, like turns it so aggressively that it like flips up to gently pat you on the face, like not to hurt or anything, but it's a very frilly dress. That's a very frilly dress. Uh, thank you. Excuse me. Um, uh, and I'll walk away. I'll. Go dance with someone else. Oh, you didn't like her <laughs> attention. I. No, it's not that. It's just I. No, it is that. I didn't like her attention. I think <gasps> it's just better if we, just focus. Got to keep focused for the uh, the trip. Mm. You're a cruel, icy heart, but. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh wow! And I'll just dance with them. Like, just... The tavern of awkward conversations tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah Don't be awkward nice if you're socially just unaware. <laughs> just keep dancing. <laughs> I've had enough, I think, attention my entire life, so I'm good. <laughs> yeah. All right. Is that mostly what you're doing before the end of the night, then? Before you call it and turn it in? I, I, I'm I, good. I think so. I'm good for sure. Yeah. Mm hmm. Word's gonna finish like maybe a full pint and then think heavily about dancing, but by the time he's ready, like the, the floor is cleared out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Another time then. <laughs> and you can see that um, Claudio also bids you good night, and she's like, Good night, boss! <laughs> good night, Claudio. You're done good. Ah, oh, thanks, boss! And then. Um, <laughs> I, I like to think that the money I got earlier I would have divided, so I will give her like three silver oh. pieces. Oh, I'll spend it wisely, boss. I know you will. Remember, pumpkins, pumpkins are bigger. Pumpkins are bigger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Say hi to Lyra. <laughs> yeah, say hi to Lyra <laughs> for me. Forget about that. I'm going to miss her oh foot gosh. rubs. <laughs> All right. So, wow. yeah, you guys head to sleep. It's a pleasant night. It's a pleasant sleep. Um, is there anyone who has any, have any like nighttime rituals they like to do or anything like that? Mm. By the way, you're given uh, rooms on the house as well at the end. Ooh, oh, oh, nice. Because I don't have any money. <laughs> this is our town that we live in though, right? Oh, if you have houses, like, you can go back to yeah. your houses as well. But uh, I kind rooms, of assume that wherever Shamaya is. Yeah, rooms <laughs> yeah. at the inn are offered and um, uh, Lyra, I, I assume you're going home, wherever that may be? Yeah, wherever. I kind of assume that wherever Shamaya crashes, I have, like, like a cot, and that's just kind of yes. been the situation I for as long as she's been raising me. Yes. Um, you, yeah. you do go. And... Oh, I was gonna... Is it okay What's if up? I turn to Lyra and I offer, being like, you want to crash at my, my shop? Uh, thank you. I think I should discuss what happened today with Shamaya, but... Oh, right. Thank you. That happened. I forgot. I drank it yes. all the way. <laughs> it's been a very long day, hasn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, I, I really do appreciate the offer, but I... I'll offer out the hand to the now others, Now I know where too. the blood storm Yeah, I'll offer the hand yeah. to the others in case they don't have a place to stay. Yeah. All right. I appreciate it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay at the inn. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to stay at the inn. Are there any, uh, like... Silver candle holders or anything in the drawers, like a yeah, there are a few. <laughs> yeah, there are any like steal. <laughs> a what? There are okay. like utensils or uh, coasters that I could yeah. take, even though I don't need them. <laughs> nah, I'll pawn them off. Where does a talking cobalt? He can do whatever he wants. 
I want to steal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I thought of that earlier yeah. in the game, actually. All right. Uh, yeah, so wh- what do I get? You get a miscellaneous few items. You get a candlestick holder. It seems to be made of some cheap metal, though, like brass. Um, you do... Okay. I mean... The pillows are extra fluffy. Uh, there's some bed sheets that you could probably mm. stuff into a pack or something. Uh, slippers. Those are probably the most valuable item in there. It's complimentary slippers. Ooh. Okay. Slippers. And then um, I'm, I'm going to, like, squeeze the pillow out the window <laughs> and then go around outside to get it. Awesome. Four persimmons. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she knows my reputation. Yeah. She knows. All right. So in the meantime, though, um, Layra, you go back to your little cot. It's kind of like a tree house, but not up in a tree. It's like a ground tree house somewhere off to the side, maybe around here, like in this direction, yeah. outside of the town's usual boundaries. And you do see, as you walk in, you do see Shamaya seems to be performing some kind of augury with some plants, some incense. And uh, her eyes are closed, and as she is sitting in a meditative position, and she notices you come in. Welcome home, child. I imagine that your celebration was fruitful. Yeah, yeah, yes. It was um, It was extremely uncomfortable. I, I'm glad we're going to be leaving soon. Yes, people can be very scary. But you will have to deal with more of them as you go out. Much as I despise mm. their company, present company, not included of course um, oh thank you it will be something that you will have to learn to attune yourself to it is for the benefit yes, uh, of the, the entire realm as it were yes uh, i suppose if it's for the realm i might be able to and if i if you me. are to convince some of the lords stubborn as they are you will have to learn how to talk to, with people yes that mm, well i'll certainly do my best i know you will child um, that voice reminds me of uh, Adelaide's sister from Over the Garden Wall. <laughs> Lord, uh, you bring me the bell. <laughs> uh, sheesh. Um, <clears throat> the blot storm today. It, it wasn't natural. I, I figured as much. I don't. I haven't found out who, but a weather witch was commissioned to create it. Hmm. Interesting. I knew it was artificial, but I didn't think it was conjured by, by any mere mortal. That would explain a lot of things. Yes, the damage wasn't too bad, was it? Mm, not that I could see. I did help clean up a little bit. But all is well, simply a minor storm that seemed to create a few bits here and there. The blot that we mm. encountered were not incredibly strong, nor were there pure blot, which was my confusion at the time. It seemed to be a combination of whatever blot substance the witch was able to gather, combined with the usual phenomena we have. Water, wind, grass. I see. Whoever this witch is, she does have to seem to have some sort of supply of blot, which is incredibly distressing. One does not simply keep them in jars to be stored on shelves. No. Hopefully we hear more of her as we travel. I would very much like to stop her from ever doing this again. That is a good note. Is there all else you need of me, child? No, certainly not. I'll leave you to you. Hmm. And, child, before you head yes? to bed. Well done. Hmm? Thank, thank you. Thanks. She nods. I'm gonna go to bed right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you too. <laughs> yep. Fantastic. All right. <laughs> she goes back to her augury, and you head to your room. Yeah. And have a sleep, a little sleep. I have a sleep. And the next morning comes, dawn breaks, and. The bright morning sun shines into each of your respective windows, waking you up. What is your morning routines, each of you? Huh. That's a really fun question. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I uh, can make you yeah. think about what your character does. Who's going first? I can. I know what I want to do. 
I want to get up and I want to say a little prayer to Lady Luck to see how the day is going to go. And can I flip my special coin? You may. <laughs> this will my not all or nothing coin. This will not eat into your uses, but you, I assume you're just flipping it just to see how your day is going to go. Yeah, I want to see if it's a good or if it's a Roll bad. Roll me a day. D2. Yeah. All right. One D two. Is it now? Okay. Today's gonna be a Dude. real good day. Hey oh. <laughs> I say a little prayer to, for a little luck. I know how the day's gonna go, so I got a little confidence in me. Luck is on and your I'm gonna side. Go, I'm gonna go try not to make too hard of eye contact with persimmons. I'm gonna get my <laughs> breakfast and wait for word. Right. All right. You get your breakfast, and you can see that as Persimmon sees you come down, like she's going to be like, "Good morning." Oh, okay. <laughs> as you just walk past her without a, without a note. Woof. <laughs> I don't want to be mean, but I just try to not have too much. Ouch. Like, I was busy day. Friend zone. Friend zone. Persimmons. Uh, yeah, for my morning routine, I definitely um, make sure all my clothes are clean. I have like a little brush that cleans the, the sort of lion's mane on my coat. So I do, do like the one, two, three, one, two, three, all the way throughout it. And then, you know, I shove the pillow out the window, the candelabra, I put everything in my bag, and then I will just head downstairs. Mm. <clears throat> ah, you're already up. You excited to watch a guy get his butt kicked? Look, I figure he they probably are only going to take like a finger or two, right? As long as we just make sure they don't kill him, it should be good. Yeah, it should be fine. You know, as long as he is able to uh, do basic labor, you know, eat at least soft foods, he'd be fine. I just worry about him. I've seen people get roughed up way worse for way less, and so I think we're doing him a solid here. It's going to pay off we for us. We can step in. We're the, yeah, yeah we're, the, we're the champions. What are they going to do to us? Uh, as we're walking, I'll say to Word, um, I know it's been a while since we've worked quote-unquote together, but I just want to make sure there's nothing, um, I don't think I've heard of this uh, under underthrown society before. Um, you've not had any it's... sort of, uh, you've not had any sort of hiccups or negative no, experiences think... on your end since the last time we worked together? Either they're new to us in the whole area, or they are somehow more secretive than me. And that is alerting in either direction. Right. Well... I don't like this. We'll... Um, at the very least, we might be able to figure out some more about them. Which will help you out, I, I imagine. Yeah. Information actually is pretty valuable when it pertains to the safety of my people. Well, let's just go back pretending like we hadn't worked together in the past, and then we'll go from there. I'd like to forget about that job, too. <laughs> right, and then I don't say anything and we just keep walking until mm. we find, I guess, Fritz or Lara. <laughs> head to the location. I guess we're heading to the location of where uh, Torellin is. Yeah, Torellin would actually be waiting be right outside the tavern, like, just kind of, you could see he's tapping his foot, just like, impatiently, and it's like, oh, good, you're here. All right. Oh, I was hoping. Oh, good. Let's just get this over with, and we'll, after that, we gotta head out, because we're sort of in a on a rush. I, we, gotta, I, we gotta get to the dragon. Uh, mm -hmm. Of course, of course. And, uh, uh, thank you again for um, helping me with this, very much. Yeah, don't oversell it. I'm trying my best to keep the rest of them along on this. Right. So. Cool as a cucumber. Oh, I've never heard that before. This guy thinks he's a main character so badly. Uh. <laughs> it's going to be fun to watch him get the main character treat. Oh, so what's boy. Fritz's morning like? <laughs> I just kind of calm down. I grab some water and I see everyone's heading out. So I quickly like brush myself off and I rush out to help. I'm like, oh, where We're are you? We're, mouth, we're yeah. off now. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay. Oh, of course. Yep. <laughs> oh, so cute. <laughs> the sobering toast, water and bread. The true main character. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, just, I just want water. I don't need to eat. It's fine. You think okay, just because okay. I'm a bird, you think I'm going to eat bread? <laughs> uh, <gasps> wow. Sorry. Sorry, that was profiling. Oh, no, I'm, we're so sorry. Yeah, that was. <laughs> I, will check, I will check my biases. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> check our privileges. Uh... Layra, uh, what's your morning like? I think I've been awake since, like, dawn, basically. Um, <laughs> uh, I, 
you know, of standard, like, you know, mm-hmm. brush teeth, probably eat something. Mm-hmm. I do a little cantrip uh, druid craft just to see what the weather's going to be like today, um, <laughs> <laughs> which is the first thing that's listed on it as a thing that it can do, which I think is extremely cute. Um, so, mm. yeah, so that, that... Awesome. And then I head towards the tavern, but not in the tavern until I see people leaving, so I'm just kind of going to hang out, like away from there <laughs> kind of out in the you know in the in the more naturey area around there um sort of keeping an eye on it until it's time to go <laughs> yeah so uh you guys are with Terellin then uh-huh. and yeah sure yeah. he I leads you along at him I'm like <laughs> to a sort of just back alley house that's just out of the way, not one you would visit. It looks kind of run down and somewhat destroyed. There has been no upkeep. The wood has kind of been molded over. There's dust everywhere, and the furniture is falling apart. It looks like it used to be some kind of merchant stall. And he walks in, and he's just like, all right, this is the place that they should be meeting us in just a few minutes. Um, yeah. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just a bit nervous. Did you have a chance to case this place before we came here? Um, how so? Well, Are you absolutely certain I mean, they wouldn't just send you here to kill you or something? I'm not so sure. Uh, most people who deal with the Underthrone often uh, are not heard from, nor have told the tale, and that usually keeps us in check. Um, but if things all go to plan, in the best case scenario, you all probably have nothing to do with this. So you won't get wrapped in. All you can ever do is help me. Hmm. I, I guess we'll wait then. I mean, we could do a little perceptioning, see if there's anything yeah. sus yeah. about can this I, location. I'd like to hide behind something. Can I? Can I? Get into a position. <clears throat> DM, can I use magic awareness? It is a feature from the wild magic, oh. which I can... Sh- I don't know if this is how you share it. As an action, you I would like to awareness. open my... Okay. At the end of your next turn, you know the location of any spell or magic item within 60 feet that isn't behind total cover. Yes. <laughs> just wanna, um, so I just want to make sure there's no traps or anything, uh, magical or otherwise, so I'll just sort of focus my energy, I'll keep my hand on my deck and just listen to see if I can hear anything, any sort of magic. Word, was there something magic. else you wanted to do as well? Uh, yeah, I was just going to find like a barrel or a box or something ah, to hide in if there's no one yes, here. Yes, you can hide in it. Give me a stealth check as well, just to see how well, okay. with advantage, because as far as you okay. can tell, there's no one um, around to see you go in there in the first place. Oh, that's place. right. I'm just okay, going to do 16. a double roll. We'll take the 16. Okay, All 16. Right. Yeah. You make yourself hidden in like a little pile of debris that you see on the side. Awesome. I like hang up my jacket before I do that. And uh, (laughs) Buck, as you are aware of magic, let me see what school, you are aware of something. Let me see what school it's Uh in. Uh oh, that doesn't bode well for us. (laughs) (laughs) No. Maybe there's just a a helpful magic item in here. Also, it's a little mouse. That gives it magic. tells the future and it's very nice <laughs> and it does a dance. I would love a little mouse, Aww. little mouse friend. Little mouse dance. I'm the little mouse that tells the future. You guys are going to. Okay, luckily you again. you see that it is okay. uh, something in the building, like kind of towards the back end wall. So it's not something that's going to close you in. It's not going to trap you in the building. Whatever it is, this is a conjuration spell in a small point on the floor. Row row. Hmm. Um, uh, Lyra, maybe you can come check this out. Hmm? I don't really know much about magic. Um, but this here, and I'll, like, point to the area. Like, it's it's just, like, a pinpointed, like, area that, I, that I'm aware of? Yes. Kind of like, it's almost just, like, as big as a floor mat. Hmm. There's something going on. I don't know if you can... And I'll step onto the... I got some luck on my side. I'll step onto it. You step oh, wow. onto it, and it glows. And it glows into a circle, and you would recognize it. This is a teleportation circle, and it's about to activate. 
Buck, step out oh, of the circle right now. I step out of the circle. I'm sorry. I step out of the circle. You step out of the circle, and in its place, ports in three figures. Two of them seem to be heavily armored and kind of obscuring their face, and one of them is one that you recognize, though not in the position that they are in here. It is the priest of the cathedral. It is a turtle named Omar. And you know him as the priest of the cathedral, not the head of an underground society. Ah, uh, did we just perhaps learn something that we weren't supposed to know? <laughs> and he, yep. Torellin is just as surprised as you guys are. And Omar just uh, speaks up. Ah, uh, I wasn't expecting guests. Hello, Buck, Fritz, Mud, Lara. Hello. Wait, you can see me? <laughs> yes, I can see you there. Shit. It was a very good hiding spot. <clears throat> Thank you. It was the best one yeah, I could find. I think it could do some work. <laughs> and Omar is flanked by some heavily guard, like cut two heavily guard yes. individuals? large, heavily okay. armored. They're in like full plate. You can't see their face. It's completely covered. Now then, Torell. I think you owe us a bit of money. Oh, I had the option to get heat metal today and I didn't <laughs> what am I doing <laughs> and Torellan he's just um struggling to find words uh, oh um y yes uh, I'm right here yes father um I well and father as a title of course mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um yeah. father, it's his dad um, I wasn't expecting you to be the top of this and uh, well you see there's a funny thing about that um uh, you see the tournament um they didn't divvy out the money in the proper amount, and uh, Buck, you've you've got the whole story. You were there, right? What happened, Buck? Um, right. I, well, what happened? He, here's the thing, Father, and I'll take um my hammer, uh, big blind, and I'll just kind of like place it down, um, uh, like just kind of leaning on it ever so slightly. I, I've been in this sort of situation before, and you got to understand that broken men can't pay debts. Uh, so my hope is that whatever T has gotten himself into is we can maybe prolong whatever use use some goodwill to prolong uh, the time that he would need to make good on an admittedly poor investment. Give me a persuasion check. Ah, <sighs> okay. Persuasion. Ah, do I use the coin now? <laughs> do you oh, use the coin? Now? I, I think I'm gonna. Be great. I'm gonna use the coin. What would your character do? Use the coin. We gave the gambler Roll a me magical one coin. One d two. You you flip the coin behind your back as you're saying this. Oh, that's gonna be a nat twenty. Eh. <laughs> and I don't add any. I I won't add anything. I don't have. I have a plus zero to charisma. I don't think you have to. If it matters. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. And I'm not 20 is a 20. Yeah. And he just shakes his head. He takes off his hat a bit and puts it on his chest. Oh, that is deeply, deeply. Oh, you have my apologies, my boy. Oh, I understand. And he, he nods a little bit. And he walks slowly up to Torellin. His, um, his armored guards to his side don't move an inch at all. He puts one hand on his shoulder. I understand how hard it can be, but we do have to make oh, some God. rules here, so I will let you off easy. You have to leave Satya and all your belongings and never come back. <laughs> and Torellin just drops to his knees. Oh, that's... Thank you, father. He He's tearing up a little bit. I will... Thank you for your generosity. Hmm. I think we're done here then. Boys, and he turns around and the other two teleport away. And he walks up to you, Buck, and puts one hand on your shoulder. Listen here. You have a good oh. heart on you. I can tell that. But here in Satya, we have an order at things. Any unscrupulous types who want to do unscrupulous things, they can't stick around if they can't hold up their end of the bargain. See, 
It's how we keep things orderly around here. So I appreciate you sticking your neck out for him. I like you. But you gotta be careful next time you get wrapped up in something like this, hmm? I appreciate the advice, Father. Um, me and my compatriots are we're just about to head out from Sachi for a little oh, bit, no, no, as yeah. you are probably aware. Yeah. Oh, of course, you got your pilgrimage, and you have my thanks. Hmm. Uh, I do <laughs> hope you the best of luck on your pilgrimage. Hmm? And and please do pay the cathedral a visit. We love visitors. To right, well, I'll... especially if you wish okay. to absolve yourself of, and he looks over at Torellin, sin. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> uh, right. Well, I'll see you in church then. I guess <laughs> I will see you in church. Good day, everyone. Yeah. And he Good walks back day? to the teleportation circle. A flash of light. He's gone, and so is the portal. Terrell and you dumbass, rule number one, never hit the church. <laughs> don't touch it, don't go near it, give them like 10 cents a day, I maybe. I no, Father Omar was the head of the, oh, fuck. I feel like I'm missing You're some lucky. important yeah. context here. Life. Yeah, no, I would not be alive right now if I went in there and stole 10 mm. cents. <laughs> Do not steal money from Let's... higher powers. Nope. Well, it looks like we're all going to be on some type of journey, so Torellin, you may want to start on that as quickly as uh, they've allowed uh, you to do. And we have a dragon that we have to talk to, and I don't. I think I'd rather deal with that right now. Yes. <laughs> that would be ideal. Uh, happy pilgrimage. I did and he's get just to see sitting you there, punched. just taking in the weight of the, the <laughs> thing that he has to do now. Can I? Enjoy your banishment. And I run up, and I, like. Hit him as hard as I can, but I still can't. I, like, I can't like do a, any like damage. A pat on the just back. cobalt punch him. <laughs> just an extra hard That's, pat That on might the be back. what it feels like, but it looks like I'm trying to do like a one punch man punch. <laughs> Does nothing. Amazing. I, Word is such a more interesting character in his head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I'm going to um, lean down and, and pat Torellin on the shoulder and be like Scorched Earth is excellent fertilizer for new growth. And then I'm going to leave because I don't care about this. He, he shrugs his shoulders like, <laughs> like, like a sort of, I'll take what I can get. Eh, new start it is. I want to hand him a temporary tattoo, like here. There <laughs> <laughs> you go, buddy. <laughs> a little butterfly. What is it? <laughs> and I like pat him on the head. What tattoo I'm do you give him? I'm giving him the unicorn one. Yay. <laughs> Yay. He just has a big old frown on his face like, I went through all the shit and all I got was a stinking tattoo. <laughs> and that is going to be the story of Tyrone. Well done. And as you guys start to take... So you guys are heading to the temple then. You don't want to do any more preparations before? No, I think we're yeah. set. Yeah, there's we're nothing else I need. Uh, all right. You take the road heading towards the temple in the distance to begin your journey as Draconic Pilgrims. And that, I think, is going to be a good place to call it today. Woo! 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 That was fun. Yeah. It was very awkward for half of it, oh, but it was, the it was pain, great. the physical pain of the social <laughs> conference conversations. Yeah. I'm sorry.